As we all know, today is All Hallows Eve. Better known as Halloween, but I'm a formal guy, right? It is a formal wedding. Angela is probably the most civically engaged individual I have ever met. And what Daniel said for Angela, she knows how to talk to me, that she feels emotions for every human in the room, every single human here. Angela has been planning on getting married, like, I don't know, forever. That has just always been, like, she always knew what she wanted. She's lived her whole life building a community and nurturing relationships that would support this. You do look beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy for you today. I really am. Daniel is the first person to see others and to make them feel good about who they are and what they're capable of doing. So if you asked me to define what love is, and I would say it's, it's that idea, that little nugget, that your relationship with someone makes you more of who you want to be. And, and Daniel does that phenomenally. And from this day on, I vow to root for the Packers as long as they aren't playing against the Chiefs. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I vow to dance with you through every stage of life, even if you step on my toes from time to time. Mm -hmm. I vow to always believe in you more than you believe in yourself and always see your best self. And I vow to share my whole self and make our family my number one priority. We have countless adventures ahead of us, and I'm very, very pleased that I get to spend all of them with you. For us, it's always been more like love is chaos and love is violent. And honestly, that's the way I want it. The universe is chaos. The universe is violent. It collapses and explodes over and over again. And you are destined to make the same mistakes in every universe in the past and in the future. This oblivion is scary for most, but with you, it brings me peace. Because it means on a grander galactic scale that we have done this dance before. We have already had an amazing wedding with people we love. We've explored the world, built empires, and saved all the babies. Somewhere in a past universe, you have held my hand every night as I've told you how wonderful my life has been with you until the day that my body can't hold on anymore. And most importantly, it means that this is not the first, nor will it be the last time that I get to read this vow to you at this altar. So here it goes. I cannot see the future, but I have seen one thing to be true. You are more than enough for me, more than I could ever promise to you. So when I depart from this life and my vow of death do us part is through, my last vow is to find you in the next universe where I chaotically and violently always love you. What has been united in this moment and the celestial, let nothing of this world break apart. By the power vested in me by the state of Missouri, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Daniel, make it your bride. <laughs> that you continue to push each other into being better versions of yourselves so that whenever you look back on your time together, whether that's tomorrow or 35 years from now, you recognize that you're happy. Here, we're all together to celebrate the two of you, and I, I just truly couldn't be any happier. I love you forever and always, and I can't wait to grow old with the two of you. To Angela and Daniel.